the RTX 4090 is going to absolutely destroy the 3090 and Ryzen 6000 is going to make a huge change. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought that the RTX 3090 was fast, well if this new leak that just came out from the Twitter leaker Comp87 Kimi is to be believed, well then the RTX 4090 is going to make the RTX 3090 look absolutely ridiculous, and not only that, but the RX 7900 XT that has been frequently leaked by the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech is going to also be much much faster than the RTX 3090, so I'm going to go ahead and read off what Comp87 Kimi had to say about both both the RTX 4090 as well as the 7900 XT, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. So according to Comp87 Kimi over on Twitter, we can see that he said, Quote, today is May 22nd, we still don't know the details of next gen GPU, but we got some tips. He then goes on to say 5 nanometer no matter TSMC or SEC, which I believe he's talking about uh, Samsung Electronics there. And then he says AD102 in transition or GH202 in revolution with a question mark. And then he says RDNA3 GFX11, how does AMD reach performance goal? Double the SIMD in the CU. He then says how about Intel? And then one thing is for sure we will get a huge performance improvement including power consumption. Maybe we can get 100 teraflops of FP32 in a single card which is absolutely ridiculous. And then he went on to say a couple more things about it in what appears to be uh, deleted tweets as I can't seem to dig them up anymore uh, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there but he went ahead and actually gave his thoughts on what the performance numbers for the 7900 XT as well as the RTX 4090 would likely be based on everything that he knows so far. And in that since deleted tweet from what I can remember when he talked about the 7900 XT Cop 87 Kimi was in agreement with Red Gaming Tech that it would likely be over 2.5 times the amount of performance than what we currently see in the 6900 XT and then for the RTX 4090 this one's really interesting because I've been saying that I wasn't really expecting it to be twice as fast as the RTX 3090 as I don't believe that the RTX 4090 is going to be a multi-chip module design. However we are quite a ways out so it is possible that they could could change to something like that and I don't know for sure but according to Comp87 Kimi he was saying that he's expecting a 2.2 times performance improvement going from the RTX 3090 to the RTX 4090 which is absolutely huge because if you think about just how powerful the RTX 3090 is right now you can actually run pretty much most games on the high or ultra settings at 4k you know some of them you might need to use DLSS but for the most part yeah you can run ultra settings 4k on an RTX 3090 and get 120 FPS or better in most titles which is absolutely incredible now as time goes on the titles are going to get harder and harder for the RTX 3090 to pull that off but if the RTX 4090 does indeed end up becoming over two times as powerful as the RTX 3090 this is certainly not going to be a problem as the RTX 4090 is going to be just shredding through every single game you can throw at it especially considering that it's going to be a long time before we see the next generation of consoles as well which means that the baseline for the games that we're going to be looking at is isn't going to be changing too drastically uh, maybe with exception of getting higher frame rates on PC as well as better lighting and reflections coming from ray tracing so yeah the RTX 4090 and the 7900 XT are both looking to be absolutely incredible at least according to current leaks however you know whether or not those current leaks do end up turning out to be true is something that we don't know for sure yet however I will say uh, that both Red Gaming Tech as well as Cop 87 Kimi have been very accurate with their leaks in the past so as outlandish as over two times the amount of performance for both the 7900 XT as well as the RTX 4090 sounds at face value, it is technically possible. And considering these guys' track record, well, I wouldn't be too surprised if that did end up being the case. However, I am going to go ahead and take this with a little bit of a grain of salt because, again, we are quite a ways away out and things could still change. And again, you know, getting over two times the amount of performance is going to be potentially one of the biggest jumps we have ever seen. So I'm going to go ahead and wait till we get a little bit more details before I jump jump in on the over two times performance numbers. And the second thing I want to talk about today is that Ryzen 6000 just had a leak over on Twitter coming from the Twitter leaker uh, executable fix, which according to him, uh, this is what he tweeted about it. AM5 LGA1718 dual channel DDR5 PCIe4 uh, 600 series chipset. He then went on to say no PCIe5. It looks like that's only for Genoa and the socket retains the 40 by 40 millimeter 
CPU size as well. So for those of you out there who are hoping uh, that Ryzen 6000 would be compatible with your AM4 board, it looks like, at least according to this leak, uh, that's likely not going to be the case as the current Ryzen chips are using a PGA pin system, which means that there's actually pins on the back of the CPU, whereas, you know, if you take a look at Intel, they're using LGA, and it looks like Ryzen 6000, at least according to this leak, is also going to be moving uh, to LGA. Now, why would they actually go ahead and do that? And I think there's a multitude of reasons, and I do think this is an absolutely huge change for Ryzen, and it's probably a change for the better, at least in my opinion. But the first reason as to why they might actually change from PGA to LGA is that technically LGA could allow them to get more pins. It's the same reason as to why Threadripper is using it. Uh, so if they're needing more pins for the CPU, it's just going to make it easier to go to LGA. And the second reason, and I think this one is a huge one, is that these Ryzen chips, I've seen just way too many of them have bent pins on them. I mean, personally, I have received uh, two or three Ryzen chips over my lifetime that came with bent pins right out of the box before I even touched them, uh, simply due to USPS or UPS just doing a poor job of handling the package. And then on top of that, I have had to help a friend unbend his pins as uh, when he went ahead and put them into his socket, it actually didn't fit fully and the pins bent even more. So I had to go over there and actually take a tweezer and just very carefully bend the pins back. And guys, I am just sick of bending these Ryzen pins. It happens way too often. If you live in certain areas, UPS or USPS just isn't going to handle your package as well. Or if you take it out of the box, you could accidentally have your finger touch one of the pins and, you know, boom, all of a sudden it's bent. And it's just really easy to do. So I'm just kind of sick of the whole PGA thing from Ryzen. I know some people like it, but, you know, I really, really dislike it. And then on top of that, you know, if you drop an Intel processor, it's probably going to be fine depending on, you know, how high up you drop the processor. But say you're putting it in a motherboard and you have it uh, maybe just like half a foot off the ground and you drop it onto your desk or something. Uh, well, then it's probably going to be fine. But with a Ryzen processor, if it drops on those pins, it might not be fine. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to LGA on Ryzen. I'm really sick of PGA and I think this is a big change and it's definitely a welcome change for me. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 4090 as well as the 7900 XT are going to be over two times as fast as the RTX 3090? And uh, let me know if you think that LGA is going to be a better option than PGA. You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.